Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. Go and have a look at the weather for its 10 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 17th of April and we'll be able to stay up beyond that with the Exeter GFS Isham Ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. It gets us into the early part of May and uh, I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just say that first. We're going to say with our 6 of UK weather forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe, and both for today's bits. I might do an update update for Easter uh, this evening. Depends what time I've got uh, this evening. But uh, you may see an update coming up for Easter. If not today, then I'll try and get one done um, for tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Shadow Show. Everyone, hope you're having a lovely Monday. It's a lovely day again out there today, isn't it? Uh, I'll just say that we started a Buy Me a Coffee page for Gav's Weather. So if you fancy buying Gav a coffee, <laughs> uh, then uh, come to the Buy Me a Coffee page. I suppose you probably had a great set of cat if you haven't got one. And uh, then you can just give whatever amount of money you would like to Gav's Weather. The default is set here at like £25 or £50 or £100. Don't worry about that. Um, I've tried to see how you can change that. I don't think you can, but you can. You don't. You're not restricted just to those amounts. <laughs> I wouldn't expect everybody to be sending don't give me like twenty five or fifty or hundred pounds. If you just want to like give two pounds or five pounds or something, then then, then uh, you can do that. You, know, you can override um, those uh, both default uh, numbers there. Um, and as I say, I've tried to change that, but I can't see how how you do that. Unfortunately, so uh, you know, kind of stuck with that. But uh, you can donate whatever you want. Don't worry. And uh, you know, uh, buy buy Gav a couple of coffees, and um, you're helping to support uh, me and uh, Gav's weather vids and helping you know to, to pay for the channel and the content. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for all of the support over all of these years. It really does mean a huge, huge amount. We've already got one supporter, by the way, which is Angus McPuspus. <laughs> The Pat yeah, news today. So uh, thank you so much to um, Angus for for uh, that. Well, it's not Angus, but I know who it is. That person knows who they are. So thank you so much to that um, person. And uh, yeah, so another revenue stream, uh, but, but potentially, possibly, um, and the link there is to that is in the description with a video just underneath uh, the video player here on YouTube. So much everyone. Right, gonna start off uh, with the latest Wimple map from EarthNoSchool.net. Showing that we've got high pressure uh, generally away to the east, and we're still bringing in those. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sorry, everyone. We're still bringing in those uh, easterly winds yet again. High and dry once more, and low pressure stuck in the Atlantic. Will that low pressure eventually break through, Bo? Hmm, I wonder. We'll see the chart data shortly. Central England temperature is uh, now sitting at 10.6. That's 2.8 degrees above 61 to 99 average. That's the visual to yesterday, so the 6th of April. Still pretty high, but that, that has come down from where it was a couple of days ago. Reason being that we are having some slight cooler days, but it's mainly down to the colder nights that we're getting at the moment. It's quite cold uh, last night. It will be quite cold again tonight, actually, with frost in many areas. So that's going to have a... Uh, uh, you know, an, an effect of pulling down the uh, central England temperature overall. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles that cover weeks. We're at Derby today, the red line this is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Derby. We're starting off above average with those upper air temperatures at the moment, but we're going to see them coming down as we move into the second half of uh, April. So, uh, starting off warm and then a cooling trend into the second half of the month. And also a wetter trend as well. You'll notice down here the precipitation uh, starts. Uh, pretty dry uh, up to the weekend but from the weekend onwards into next week quite a significant number of precipitation spikes now starting to appear that is quite a dramatic change that we see there and it is beginning to come into a more reliable time so we have had this with the GFS ensembles for several weeks actually but they've been indicating you know in about 10 to 14 day time we might get a change something more unsettled but now we're starting to see uh, and then that was always like in this period of the graph um, but now we are starting to see uh, that coming a little bit closer into the more semi-reliable time frame so uh, I think evidence 
could well be gathering here for a pattern change into the middle of April to something a cooler as we see there with the cooling trend uh but also be more unsettled and um, uh, you know wetter as well so we'll have to wait and see how that plays out temperature normally is so next five days taking us to the 12th of april and coming out above average the 16 day temperature anomaly is also uh, above average we're about 10 to 14 day well that starts to come down then but still a little bit uh, above normal overall warmth being pushed off into more eastern parts of europe though you'll notice by uh, the 21st of april precipitation anomaly for uh, the next seven days to the 14th of april is coming out to drier than normal if we have a look at the 8 to 14 day well there we see a very substantial change check that out looking much wetter uh, by the time we get through to the 21st of april so that really is a big change from um you know where we start off in one to seven day looking like that to be uh, 8 to 14 day looking like that so changes 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 <laughs> <coughs> oh dear, I have better be too sick. I'll make myself cough. Uh, no changes, mate. On the way, potentially. Okay, let's start game three. The chart data is our latest UK met Euro run. It's looking for midnight on Thursday. High pressure over top of the country at 1,030 millibars high and dry. The high pressure gradually starts easy away from us as we go through weekend and all over pressure begins to move in from off the Atlantic. So by the time you get through to Monday the 14th of April, we've got quite a big area for low pressure heading in. That's bringing out rates of rain. And, um, you know, it's a significant change. We go from like a 1,030 millibar area of high pressure there on Thursday to a, I think the central pressure is about 975 millibar area of low pressure by Monday. So uh, the coming weekend sees a very significant change taking place, if that's right. Icon again with that large area of high pressure sitting over the top of the country on Thursday, gradually declining into the weekend. Lower pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, not quite as unsettled as the UK met, but going in the same sort of trend really. This low pressure replacing the area of high pressure. And uh, then we've got the uh, KMA looking like that. Again, high pressure declining into the weekend as lower pressure starts heading from the Atlantic. We're under low pressure by the beginning of uh, next week. Quite a deep area of low pressure at that, bringing spells of rain uh, and strong winds too. We end up looking like that to 19th of April. Quite a deep area of low pressure. <coughs> So, sorry again, everyone, quite a deep area of low pressure then is sitting between uh, the UK and Denmark in the North Sea. And heights are rising to the north as well. So, not only turning significantly more unsettled with bouts of rain, also turning uh, a lot to cooler there as well with the wind coming in from more of a northeasterly direction. Big change here, isn't it, within the model output? If you've been getting fed up with the stationary weather patterns and high pressure domination, then uh, changes on the way, potentially. What's the GFS got to say? This is a big night run. Again, we're under high pressure to the weekend, but it quickly declines and low pressure takes over by the beginning of next week and then we've got plenty of low pressure knocking about the place really uh, as we head into the easter weekend that's easter sunday by the way 20th of april got a nice ridge there through uh, western parts of europe high pressure then pulls out into the atlantic and down comes this uh, northwesterly wind so turning cool and will be cool and unsettled by the end of the midnight run and then uh, the sixth said looks like that so once again large ridge of high pressure area of high pressure uh, dominating still on Thursday just about holding on into the weekend but gradually gets replaced by Sunday into Monday lower pressure takes over and uh you know weather charts looking quite unsettled then up to day 10 and that low pressure keeps on coming as we go into the extended as well before heights try to build again over scandinavia and block off some of these areas of uh, low pressure so uh both of gfs runs seeing a significant change starting at the weekend
If you're enjoying the uh, content on the channel at the moment, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for everyone for doing that. Make sure you drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web and get them to subscribe to Show Show everyone for doing that. I think that's 78 subscribers now is going to get us to 19.7k. Uh, 78 or 77 uh, gets 19.7k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. So much, everyone. Means so much. And again, you can uh, buy Gav, Gav's Web is a coffee, on the uh, Buy Me a Coffee page, links in the description, of course, we've got the ever-reliable PayPal as well, so if you want to give a donation via via PayPal and uh, get a shout-out in the vids, then uh, come to the PayPal page, sign your PayPal account, donate what you want, and we'll give you a shout-out, maybe you'll like a, uh, a plug in the videos for your um, website, for your YouTube channel, uh, maybe you like, want to get one in your business, maybe you want me to pass on a message to somebody, uh, more than happy to do that. Or maybe you just want to shout out for yourself, and that's no problem whatsoever. Thank you so much, everyone. Helping to pay for the channel and the content. GM, again, with high pressure, in control, and in the ascendancy on Thursday. And then the high pressure gradually starts to ease southwards into the weekend with lower pressure developing both to the west and also to the south. Looks more unsettled, I have to say, by the weekend. And then into next week, well, low pressure has replaced high pressure. So obviously we're looking a good deal more unsettled next week with bouts of rain coming in from off the Atlantic. Cooler temperatures likely as well. And then the ECM rounding it all off with that big area of high pressure in control on Thursday, gradually weakening, declining the end week into the weekend, turning more unsettled that Sunday, low pressure coming up from south and also coming in from the west. <coughs> <coughs> Oh dear, so sorry everyone. And then on into next week. Well, we've got a big dark ball then sitting in the Atlantic just to the west of the UK Island. That'll be throwing up uh, rain bands and whatnot. That's day 10. Oh, we're also starting to raise the heights there towards Greenland as well. So not only unsettled, but also becoming significantly more blocked as well. And then beyond that, well, low pressure carries on heading in from off the Atlantic. That gets us to Easter Monday. And, uh, well, it looks like an, uh, an unsettled Easter weekend there with the ECM. Low pressure well and truly in control. And probably trying to pull down some colder air from the northwest as well. So uh, maybe turning a bit cold as well just beyond Easter significant change in all of the model output today starting from the weekend this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from temecha.com lots and lots of uh, dry weather until we get through to the weekend and then we've got these bouts of rain starting to appear a little bit hit and miss it's not going to be a total washout uh, at least not initially <laughs> but definitely you know it's a more unsettled picture and uh, this is the option on the table within the East Shem Ensemble today, a four day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 17th of April. 51 out of 50 members of the East Shem Ensemble show high pressure declining away to the east as low pressure starts to come up from the south, turning more unsettled then by day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And so. If it does turn unsettled, I think it is going to start turning unsettled from the weekend into next week. But if it do, if it does, and I think it will, uh, it probably might not last all that long. This gets the 22nd of April. Uh, 90 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure uh, weakening to the north, heights building to the south. That looks like it's starting to settle things down again. 19 with high pressure to the north, strong high pressure to the north, blocking feature. Uh, the wind back in for use, that's back to dry weather. And then 13 with lower pressure. Uh, to our northeast, high pressure out to the northwest. That's the most unsettled and coolest uh, option. But in that one, isn't desperately low pressure dominated. So unsettled mid month, yes, leading up towards Easter. But beyond that, probably going back to high pressure.
Sep SB2 uh, finally beats the five bunch of middle bar high stones break down into weak periods. The first week they will take us from the 7th to the 13th of April, but next week with high pressure right over top of the country. <coughs> and then we go through, so high and dry for the week here. Go through to the 14th to the 20th of April, high pressure declining to the east, lower pressure developing out to the west. That's starting to turn uh, more unsettled from the Atlantic. Week 3 will be the 21st, 27th of April. High pressure to our south and east. Lower pressure is out to the northwest. And the winds coming in from like west southwesterly direction. Uh, but finally, week 4 gets us to the 28th of uh, April to the 4th of May. And then we're back under a strong area of high pressure again. So that will bring dry and warm conditions by month's end and into the beginning of May. It's going to be really disappointing if we have all of this dry weather up towards Easter. Then we flip it unsettled for Easter. And then we go back to high pressure just after Easter, won't it? Although I know we have got another bank holiday in early May. So that will probably be quite quite nice for that bank holiday. But um, Easter, not sure. Could be looking a bit dodgy. We'll have to wait and see, though. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sharing for doing that. And why not drop a comment? Let's know. I'll be back with all of our videos and content, live streams, etc., etc., etc. And don't forget to tell your friends about guys well, get them subscribe too. So much everyone for doing that. And again, if you could afford to buy me a coffee <laughs> or give a donation through PayPal, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. So I might be back a little bit later on, well, this evening, um, with an update for Easter. I'll let everybody know about that on the socials. Uh, later on if not today but i will try and get that fitted in uh tomorrow and also sorry i'm going to have a 6 uk weather forecast 10 to 14 there as well all of your regular tuesday videos so if you uh feel like uh, checking in for that then uh, there'll be more bits coming up tomorrow but this one though that's all for now and thanks for watching